Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another 3D Sculpt and Chill. So this little character I drew in 2016 with Adobe Illustrator Draw, I was just getting into digital art. I just got my iPad and I was trying out different apps. I think I first tried Metabang Paint, Paint and then I tried Adobe Illustrator Draw, eventually landing on, on Procreate. But now, as you can see, I've been going back through my old artwork so I can sculpt some of the creatures and some of the designs that I did way back in the day. And this one, this little guy seemed kind of cute and he did have some challenges. Uh, the eyes were sort of like gel type eyes in the drawing with like little like sort of glowing pupils. I don't know, kind of kind of weird and strange, but I love weird and strange. I always draw weird and strange things. So this one, this little guy was perfect for me to 3D model. I also try to, you know, as you can see, like my drawing sort of evolved. So it's fun to go back and draw some of these older characters and just kind of revamp them with how I think now and how I make things cute now and just sort of use all of the things that I've learned over this, I don't know, like six, uh, five years now. Um, I think I got it at the end of 2015, maybe early 2016, my, my first iPad Pro, which completely changed everything. And now with Nomad, I, I can't say that I've been obsessed with an application like I am now with, uh, with Nomad. Um, here I'm just using everything I do I use smooth I, anything I make anytime I voxel merge or remesh things I smooth it out I like my scopes to be nice and smooth uh, obviously the fingers I use little cylinders and uh, here I'm just making a little you gotta like make them nice and plump uh, I'm using the inflate tool for the little plump things and his little plump toes and now I'm doing a lollipop I actually didn't um, you know, sometimes I like to have them, I like to give them sort of props, but I didn't ultimately keep the lo the lollipop in the uh, in the final the final art. And here's this little pupil uh, that's sort of actually flattened in there, like a little flattened uh, disc. Uh, and here I'm just giving them a backdrop. It's always good for lighting and for the shadows to give the characters a backdrop. I just think it just offers, it just puts them in a real space and makes them feel more 3D and feel more real. So here's just some uh, renders of this little guy. These are the early ones you see with the lollipop, but he's very clean. I like my sculpts to be very, very smooth, uh, as smooth as I can get them. I actually changed his pinky so that his pinky is um, touching his leg because it just looks crazy. See, you can see now there, there's the edit um, on this one. And here's the color. I love doing color. I wanted to add some cubes too, just to give it a little bit of, a little something. You know, he just, I, I just like to give him a little bit more of an environment so i appreciate you guys so much please subscribe and like if you like this much more to come keep drawing keep sculpting i'll see you all in the next video here's a quick clip if you want to learn 3d then stay tuned if you're interested in 3d modeling then this is a great place to start What's up guys, my name is Dave Reed, AKA Drug Free Dave. So you may know me as a 2D illustrator, cute animals, things like that. But this class today is very, very exciting. It's something that I've been working on a lot and that's 3D modeling. So if you wanna get into 3D modeling, this is a great beginner course for someone who's never done 3D, doesn't understand 3D, and just wants to start fresh, start from scratch. And let me tell you, it is so addicting, it's so fun, it actually helps my 2D illustration. It helps me think of things in 3D because you're actually working in 3D. So we're gonna use Nomad Sculpt. It's an amazing 3D application. It's only $15. It's, a, it's just a one-time buy. So it's not like a, a prescription. Prescription? Prescription? Subscription. It's not a subscription. Uh, I use it on the iPad Pro 2021. Go to Nomad Sculpt website. Make sure it works. Make sure you can download it, obviously, before you take this class because I don't want to get you all excited and then you're not able to do it. Again, it's worth the $15. It's amazing. I think I know you're going to love it once you get started.